Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Telltale's The Game of Thrones game. Two quick reminders before we jump back into it. First, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Use the notification bell, that way you know when these videos are coming out. Secondly, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump in and find out where this story is going to take us, because it's so far not lining up with the books. By which I mean, there is no house forester in the books that I know of, or at least it's not gone into any detail. <clears throat> I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I'm here. It's okay. Wow, you really suck if you couldn't figure out to look behind a tree. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I don't make promises you can't keep. And Asher. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Who says she's I gonna die, she's kid? she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And... I mean, you're 12, you dude. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does Miltsop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Remember when we were younger, when we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Yeah, but this isn't a nice world. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. <laughs> if only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Trust me, kid. Getting all the sweets you want isn't lord Ethan, as good of a deal as you think it is. Quickly! On your feet. Oh boy. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? 
He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. Maybe it means I get to put a sword through old Whitehill's throat. Or maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Here he comes. Dressed up in full armor, no less. Are you afraid? Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero. Fighting for the North against traitors and oath-breakers. Aye! And look where that got him. And no bread and salt! Oh. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm oh, shut yourself, the fuck up, old, old man. man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. You Forgetting. Of shit on I'm a lord too, punk. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. We all serve House Bolton now. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer Please let me make fun of you for losing two guys to a pig Ethan. farmer. He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. And yet that Where pig farmer took down two of your soldiers. He's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm Aww. not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. 
Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? Please let me make fun of him for losing no two of his soldiers lady, that are worth so much. All, but this, this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Come on, let me make fun of him. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own, that the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. Damn it. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Eaton here held his ground. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Yeah, I'm not looking forward Prepare to meeting Raven. him. That's not going to be a lot of fun. Mira in King's Landing at once. Well, we also need to go ahead and send a Raven over to the Boltons and let them know what happened. Your sister can help us. Mm, Although can she? just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Oh, shit. Marjorie Terrell is... Well, wait, which king would this be? Oh, God, it'd be Joffrey, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Marjorie had no control when it came to Joffrey. She tried, but... yeah. Okay, this is not going to go well. What am I looking at in here? It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Well, put it on. Ethan made this for me. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Hmm. As in the purple wedding. I'm sure that would be a lot of fun, too. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Okay. I hope to see them all someday. Well, you're not going to see them. What's out the window? Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Is there a point to this? Like, come on. Walk down here. A letter from your mom. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hmm. This is not going to go well. 
Oh, well, at least shift actually makes me move slightly faster. One moment. Why would you say one oh, moment sorry, right lady. when you're at the door? I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Um. Sure, who no, are you? It's fine. Come in. I assume there's a reason you're here. Oh, cleaning. Begging your pardon, lady, but are you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. What is he even doing? You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. What are you up to, kid? I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I feel like you're I working for somebody kind of else. Trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Yeah, you're one of the spider's little birds, night, aren't guys. you? Or do you belong to Baelish? Oh wow, they actually Lady Marjorie, modeled you're early. her I was fairly there would be time accurately. For us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. And that actually sounds like the actress. Either this voice actress is doing a really good job, or it's garden, actually her. I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. Mm, I doubt it. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. There go a couple of King's She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted <clears> you <throat> a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. But how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. <laughs> See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Yeah. Well, I think You'll you need to walk fine. a little bit further than that. Well. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Let's 
see if I'm able to match wits with Cersei Lannister. Well, that's not Joffrey. You can do this. Is that Tyrion? There's a lot of whispering for three people. It is Tyrion. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? And that's Peter Dinklage's Lord voice. Tyrion. Your Grace? They actually got the vo the actors With your to do their Allow voice me acting. to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the north. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the forest I mean... has been loyal bannerman to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. And she would have us believe she didn't know which King she served. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Yes, Your Grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose. But I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? Keep as Cersei as in the dark and the stocks, beat her a, a bunch of shit. The Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. I kind of have to agree with Tyrion. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? 
I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl mm. will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Might have just pissed Marjorie off, but I mean... I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In yeah. fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. That's putting it kindly. So I wonder how badly I messed up with Marjorie. I mean, Marjorie's not going to be coming into power anytime soon, to put it kindly. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Mm. Nothing's Lady really ever Marjorie over. has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah. Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And over in Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It was probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. In the case of Joffrey, you're better off not knowing. Would you knowing. marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. 
And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't I mean. want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh boy. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Awesome question. Well... I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. Mm, not really what I was this apologizing for. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. Sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? People are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. You might as well. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Eh, that's not a great policy it's in a place like this. Family. I trust her. Fine, whatever. Even though Marjorie has not shown... Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you. And I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. I mean... Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady! King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. I don't know how well that's going to go over. Alright, so this game, again, it doesn't give great options for pause menus, but interesting. So we've had our first showdown with good lady Cersei. I do like that it seems... There's enough complexity in the choices. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic. Um, 
but it, it seems like there's enough complexity in the choices that there's not really a good like okay yes answer this or don't answer this there's no clear-cut answer there's no clear-cut black and white stuff going on there it's all various shades of gray I really like that because it is keeping very much in tune with what Game of Thrones is like. So I'm really enjoying that portion of this. I will say the graphics are definitely on the dated side. Um, I have everything turned all the way up to maximum, but this is a very old... You can tell this is a very old game. And so it's kind of... Eh. It is very cool that they brought back the actual actors because that was... I'm not sure about Marjorie's actress, but that was definitely Lena Headey's voice, and it was definitely Peter Dinklage's voice. So it is really neat that they brought the actual actors in to play their video game counterparts. That's, that's a really cool little trick that they did there. Marjorie, I don't remember enough scenes with her voice. It sounds like her. If it's not actually the actress, then whoever they have doing the voice acting is doing a really good job of impersonation. So, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm intrigued. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of George Martin's little world, for lack of a better term. Um, I much prefer Tolkien's world to the world of Game of Thrones. But it is still an entertaining world to visit for a while, and I'm I'm definitely enjoying it so far. I'm very curious to see where it's going to go and see how my decisions are going to actually affect the game. Hoping that they actually do. But that'll come up in a future episode, and if you want to make sure that you actually get to see that episode then you need to go down and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you know when it's getting uploaded. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That way it helps keep the YouTube overlords happy and might get the video pushed out a little bit further to other people so they can enjoy it, hopefully. Anyways, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes, so good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.